Understanding Evaporation and Shade, a Deep Dive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often puzzles English language learners, evaporation and shade. It might sound a bit scientific, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. This concept not only helps us understand a natural process but also enriches our vocabulary. So, let's dive into the intriguing world of evaporation and its implications, even in places where the sun doesn't shine directly. First things first, let's dissect the phrase into two key terms, evaporation and shade. Evaporation is a process where liquid turns into vapor. It's how a puddle of water disappears after a rainy day, even if the sun isn't directly shining on it. The fascinating part? Evaporation happens at all temperatures, as long as the air isn't fully saturated with vapor. On the other hand, shade refers to an area that is sheltered from direct sunlight. It's cooler than the surrounding areas exposed to direct sunlight, but evaporation still occurs here. Understanding that evaporation can happen even without the direct heat of the sun is crucial in grasping the concept of evaporation and shade. Now, onto the main event. How does evaporation happen in shade? It might seem counterintuitive since we often associate evaporation with heat and sunlight. However, several factors contribute to evaporation in shaded areas. 1. Ambient temperature. Even in the shade, the temperature can be warm enough to cause water molecules to gain energy and transform into vapor. 2. Air movement. Wind or air currents in shaded areas can increase evaporation by moving the humid air away and bringing in drier air. 3. Relative humidity. Low humidity in the surrounding air encourages evaporation, even in the absence of direct sunlight. Understanding these factors helps us realize that evaporation is a dynamic process influenced by more than just sunlight. Let's bring this concept closer to home with some everyday examples. Have you noticed clothes drying on a line in the shade? Or felt the cool dampness of a cellar? Where moisture evaporates slowly due to the cooler, shaded environment. These instances illustrate that evaporation and shade is an ongoing process that affects various aspects of our daily lives, highlighting the importance of understanding the principles behind it. We hope this deep dive into evaporation and shade has illuminated this fascinating process for you. It's a reminder of how nature's wonders continue around us, often unnoticed, and enriches our understanding of the natural world. If you found this explanation helpful, consider subscribing for more insights into the English language and its nuances. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.